Uh, Joe, we're back in the gym where it, uh, your college career started and started the uh, your opportunity to break records and really achieve some memorable moments, national title game and everything, and it, it's, uh, it's helped get you to the point where you're an Olympian. Um, I guess throughout this process, being an Olympian, getting drafted by the WNBA, playing professionally, uh, how much have you thought back on your experiences at Franklin Pierce and how they've helped maybe shape you to, to get to this point in your career? Yeah, I mean, coming to Franklin Pierce was, um, it was a great opportunity for me. Coming out of high school, I wasn't, didn't get any other um, college scholarships, so I was really thankful that Coach Lazy gave me a chance, um, obviously due to the fact Jen was here, so I'm really thankful for her as well. But, um, you know, Franklin Pierce was, it was really great for me, and, um, you know, I was given the opportunity to play, play freely while I was here, and wasn't really restricted, and I think that really helped me um, with my game. I think here I was able to grow as a person and um, on and off the court individually and as a teammate. Um, the good thing that I like about going to this school is it was Division Two, and I wasn't handed everything here. Um, you know, you don't come here and you get loads of kit. You know, we go and we work NASCAR, as the girls probably still do now. And I'm, I'm thankful for stuff like that. It keeps you humble, keeps your feet on the floor, and um, all that kind of stuff kind of molds you in, into um, being the person that you want to be. And I think little things like that really, really helped me at this school. And obviously the coaching staff, Coach Swayze, and Coach Hancock, and um, Jen, and obviously Cindy, she held me together for the four years that I was here, so I'm really thankful for all them people. Now you're a, a basketball junkie, <laughs> you know, <laughs> plain and simple, and now being a professional, uh, it is your career, and it's what you've got to do 24-7. Uh, how exciting has that been for you, being a person that I, I know you love watching the game, practicing, playing, just how much fun has it been now to be a professional? Yeah, uh, being a pro has been amazing. Um, like you said, I'm a junkie. I don't really watch any other sports. Um, I'm basketball through and through. Um, it's kind of bad sometimes, but um, no, um, I just love the game and um, being able to be professional. You know, there's times when you have them days when you know you maybe don't want to go to your workout and you're a bit fed up. You don't want to go to practice or you're in a foreign country and you're a bit tired of and the only one speaking English. But then I just think, but well, you know what? This is way better than working in the office and stuff like that. I love what I do and. And um, being able to go to a job every day and have a smile on your face, it's, it's something that, you know, people don't get to experience that every day, and I'm just really, really fortunate to be able to do that. You've played in a lot of different countries, uh, not just the Olympics, but uh, Australia and, uh, and playing back you know, in Great Britain and over here. Um, how different is the style of play around the world, or is it really, at the end of the day, the same type of game, or is it one country plays a little bit more physical, another country's more finesse. Just just talk about your experiences and maybe how different the game can be in certain places. Yeah, I think um, some countries are definitely more finesse and um, some are more physical. I think going to Australia, they were, they were quite a physical country, um, but it was fine for me. That That's our, that's my game and that's um, Great Britain's game. I think, you know, a lot of teams in press conferences at the Olympics and um, at Euro Championships before would say that Great Britain is the most physical team out there, which um, that's something that we wanted to have as a trademark, but um, I get used to the different styles, and I think um, playing in loads of different places helps you with that, and I think if, if you can be physical to your game, then that's the that's one good thing, because if, if you're not physical, it's kind of hard to adapt. Um, well, uh, when, when did you start to think about the Olympics? Um, Great Britain had never played in that sport in the Olympics, um, so I'm sure growing up it wasn't, and I know that you played more uh, uh, netball, yeah. and when, when did you start to think about the Olympics and, and when did it start to become a dream of yours? Um, I guess since it got announced that we were actually going to be in the Olympics, which was, I think it was February 2011, I think, I'm not really sure. Um, but I guess it started then, but it was because I had so much other stuff going on. I never really thought about it until um, April 2012, and um, I finished my season in Australia, and I came back, and um, I think I came here for about two weeks or something, and then I was back for the 1st of April, and I went into a conditioning camp, and um, from April all the way through to the end of the Olympics, I was I was in the like that was it, that was my time, no breaks, um, no messing around, no eating junk food, no drinking, no nothing, um, I was in the zone. And I think from that time forward, that's when I was really, really thinking about it. But 
I mean, it's always in the back of my mind, but it was kind of surreal until about April for me. Uh, the, the head coach for your national team was also your head coach in Australia. And, and um, how, how much did that help you get prepared for the Olympics, knowing this, his coaching style and what he was expecting out of players? Just how much did that benefit you going into the Olympics? Yeah, um, well, playing with him in Australia, we pretty much had all the same sets, all the same plays, all the same tactics, so I could I could get them down. I, um, we used them this summer and um, previous anyway, so they were like second nature to me. But then I could really perfect them. Um, being under him for a year, I, I know what he like, what he likes, what he doesn't like, what he expects. So um, it was perfect for me, and I was able to stay healthy, fit, and strong. So being under him was perfect. And, getting used to his bluntness and <laughs> just giving it to you how he does and it was perfect. Uh, and that's, and I'm sure you appreciate that as a player, you said blunt, um, yeah. you know, you're you're a player that just, you get after it, you love the competition and it's go out and play all out to win, so you appreciated that coaching style? Yeah, had? absolutely, he's, he's the kind of coach where, you know, you, know, you come out of a game and Maybe you have decent stats, and um, like for example, the last game against Brazil, I was really gutting for me because I didn't really play too well. Um, if you look at my stats, you might think, oh, like double-digit points, that's okay. You know, you didn't have a bad game, but for me, it was a bad game. And you know, he told me like it wasn't a great game, and I appreciate things like that because you don't want people to lie to you. And you know, he's good like that. Like he tells you how it is. No, he's, he's not going to sugarcoat it or fill your head with fluff. So that's how you need it. That's the only way to get better. Um. Talk, we'll talk a little bit about the Olympics. Uh, it was in your home country, and your family was there. Your parents were there. You, both your sisters flew back. Uh, uh, how special was that? I guess it's a two-part question. How special was it being the first team to play in your country in that sport of women's basketball? And then how special was it to do it in your home country in front of all your fans? Yeah, I mean, it really was amazing. Um, a lot of people do say like it was it was it was an Olympics for the females, and um, I think it was. And there was a bunch of other sports that were first times as well, and um, boxing, and think, and um, just to just to be um, representing your country is is always something really special for me. But um, to be doing it in London and having all my family there, it was just mind blowing. And I haven't really sort of time to think about it. I think maybe in a couple months or maybe a year or so, I'll be like, oh my god, I actually did that. But I think I'm still just kind of floating on with life and not really thinking about it but it was something something that I'll cherish forever and I can't it's everyone always asks me how was it and the only word I use is amazing and I feel bad because I can't describe it to people but I just can't put it into words it's, it's just phenomenal and um, the, the the opening ceremonies um, and the pageantry that goes along with it uh, Anybody that watched it, and not just that one, any opening ceremonies is just blown away by how breathtaking it is. Uh, I'm sure you've watched a lot of opening ceremonies. You were a part of it. How special was that one, walking in with the team and, and seeing all the acts and the performers and those things? Just how, how neat of an event was that? Yeah, I mean, we, act, we actually missed all the um, acts that everyone saw, like the Mission Impossible in the helicopter and all oh, okay. that stuff. I actually didn't see it, but... Um, we, it took us an hour to walk to the park just because you do it so slow in other countries and things like that but we were last to go out and it was so amazing like the atmosphere the people walking on the way there cheering everybody's chanting GB and stuff and yeah. the basketball group was actually at the very very back because they wanted taller people at the back so they're like, okay cool we'll definitely get on TV yeah. here but as soon as I walked out I just started crying I remember I had two of the men's players were like carrying me along and, and some of my teammates because I couldn't walk so I was just crying but it was such a special feeling and the stadium was full and the roar when we came out was, oh my God, it just like made your bones shake. It was amazing. Um, you got to do